Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. section of the Bronx says family, friends, and neighbors pay tribute to a man who was stabbed to death in broad daylight in what police say was an unprovoked attack. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon has the story. I just like, it's annoying, it's frustrating, and I'm angry. Like, I, I don't even know. Nathaniel Rivers' stepdaughter, Aisha, is struggling to make any sense of his murder. It's rough. It's, it's, it just more so feels like a, a piece that's missing. And it's only been a day. It'll be 24 hours and a few hours and still it just, it doesn't feel real. Rivers was sitting in his car with his wife yesterday afternoon when an emotionally disturbed man approached them. Police say the man attacked Rivers for no reason. His family says Rivers got out of the car to try to get help. There was a struggle and he was stabbed in the chest. His wife tried to help, but she was not able to save her husband's life. He got taken away from his family. He left his girls, he left his son, he left his little brother. It's just, he was literally ripped from us. Today, here in a Norwood community that knew Rivers and his family well, people came to pay respects. Everybody in the neighborhood loved this man. He's known everywhere. He's known everywhere. You don't see a lot of people come and share love and support. That's why it kind of hits hard for everybody. It kind of just feels like he knows so he knows everybody that lives in all the buildings on this block, all the houses on this block, all the kids love him. Now a family will have to carry on without a man they describe as their rock. He loves my mom, he loves all of us, he loves, he loves my niece, he loves her so much. <laughs> I just feel like he, okay, his family got taken away from him. He got taken away from his family. <laughs> Police arrested 19-year-old Franklin Mesa not too far from where Nathaniel Rivers took his last breath. He's now facing several charges, including murder and criminal possession of a weapon.